Hello to you from the south coast of England. The venue for this game is the Amex Stadium. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. And very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's Brighton, and they take on Arsenal. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I've played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. Number 11, Leandro Trossard. And number 18, Danny Welbeck. Good luck. And a look at the lineup for Brighton. Well, I think they have a nice balance to their team. A solid back four, two holding midfielders, three creative players in advance of them, and a mobile centre forward. It's a good team. And this is the Arsenal starting 11. Aaron Ramsdale as the goalkeeper. Thomas Partey starts with Granit Xhaka in the centre of the pitch. And the main striker here is Edward Nketiah. Thank you, the Amnick Stadium. Enjoy the game. And so the match is underway. And well, they know they need to stop him. Pervis Estupinian. Well back. On to Gross. Lalana. Well back. Well, if truth be told, he made it rather straightforward for the keeper. Well, he knows it. That is a real waste of a great opportunity. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. Bukayo Saka. Crossing opportunity. Xhaka. And back with Partey. He's got to score! And just missed that little bit of attacking spark. Goalkeeper's ball. Estupinian. Moises Caicedo. It's with Welbeck. No high quality defending. Gabriel Martinelli. Arsenal move it forward with purpose and control. Wonderful chance! Oh yes! A goal! Exactly what they were looking for, and he's come up with it! Well, as you can see, he beats the defender so easily with a change of pace, and then it's a decent finish. That's a very good goal, you have to say. So, underway again here. One nil the score. Alexis McAllister. Fluency of movement. Well, honestly, I didn't mean to jinx them. Just wasn't a very good pass, finally. Thomas Partey. White. Bukayo Saka. Nketiah. He's in with a chance. And the challenge, crisp and clean. Pascal Gors. March. 
on a pass that lacks quality. As you can see, Arsenal are seeing less of the ball, but their counter-attacking has been really good, particularly in the wide areas. It's been an excellent performance from them so far. And the threat on the counter-attack is very real. Here they come again. Is this the moment? And it's come off the keeper. Well, it looks so threatening, but the danger averted. And the referee sees that as a foul. Free kick given. And there to intervene. The referee's letting it go as they keep the ball. Trossard. Trossard. And here's Lalana. Able to... Oh, could be! And the keeper making sure that was pushed well away from danger. So nearly at half-time, and the home side trailing, albeit not by much. Stuart, your thoughts up to this point? Well, they've not had quite enough purpose to their attacking play so far. It's all been a bit too predictable. But in the second half, if they can get more support to their strikers and play with greater intensity, they can certainly turn this around. The cross is on. Zinchenko. Can he take advantage? Oh, a goal for Arsenal! It's theirs to lose now. Well, he wasn't going to waste this chance. 1v1 against the keeper, and he slots it away with great confidence. That's a good finish. So back underway with the scoreline standing at 2-0. And that brings to an end the first half here at the Amex Stadium. Well, truth be told, his influence on this game has been very limited. What have you made of his performance, Stuart? Yeah, he's not played well, has he? He's just failed to have an impact here. Mind you, I think we could say that about the whole team. He just hasn't looked like scoring today. So the ball moving, the pendulum has already swung Arsenal's way in this game. Will we see more of the same in the second half? Not a good pass. Welbeck. Well, is it going to end up being productive for them? Very quick thinking there. Granite Jacker. Well, visionary passing. And there it is. Another goal. And surely there's no way back from this now. Well, as we can see here, the pass from Saka is absolutely perfect. But I don't think the keeper should be beaten at his near post quite so easily. I thought that was stoppable. So back with the action and Arsenal sprinting away with ease. taken away well it's a really poor challenge now what's the referee going to do about it and yellow it is a booking yeah he was too impatient to win the ball and probably deserved a yellow card well clattered away 
Trossard there to win it back. William Saliba. Well, as you can see, Arsenal have had most of the ball and have used it really well today, particularly in the midfield areas. And I expect more of the same as the game goes on. Indeed, perhaps they can cash in again. Let's see. And a chance, Erdegaard. Another goal. The lead grows to four now. A rampant display. Well, let's look at this again. To pick out this pass shows wonderful vision. It's inch perfect, but you do have to ask questions of the keeper. Could he have done better here? I think so. You can't be beaten at your near post like that. And this is turning into something of a rout. 4-0. Oh, nice ball over the top to chase. And the challenge, crisp and clean. Alexander Zinchenko. Jacka with it. And Kessia. Marcinelli. Well, what can they do to stop him running at them? Chance for Jacka. And there it is. But hang on, the flag has gone up and it's not going to count. Well, it was a close call, but he is just offside. Good finish, mind you. Substitution for Arsenal. Coming off the pitch. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. Coming onto the pitch, number three, Kieran Tierney. Undav. Now in possession, Trossar. Lalana. Well, a crucial intervention inside the box. Just 15 minutes remaining. Kieran Tierney. Giving the ball to the opposition that time. Pascal Gross might be able to get in behind the defence and the cross smuggled away and the substitution will occur now not a short corner here Lalana And return to Trossard. And using his body to good effect. Just the challenge that was required. A danger here as he runs at them. Well, it didn't go to plan in the end. And it will be an Arsenal free kick. And he read it superbly. Five minutes to go. Tari Clanty. Well, no stopping him. Unable to make the mark with that cross. Gabriel. Lokonga. And the referee is going to add on four added minutes. And Kessia. It's with Erdegaard. Saka. Mastery of the passing game. Well, just couldn't play that decisive ball. So the referee brings this game to an end. A frustrating day for Brighton and Hove Albion. A defeat here. Well, Derek, that just wasn't good enough today. A lack of a game plan, too many players below par, and not enough energy all around the pitch. A really worrying performance for me.
No two ways about it. He really has brought his influence to bear on the proceedings. Well, what more could you ask for? His build-up play was clever, his movement was dynamic, and he scored a couple of goals. What a player he is.